Okay, we're going to look now at integration. Okay, so integration then is the opposite of differentiation. Together, um, integration and differentiation are called calculus. So integration is the opposite of differentiation. So if you think about some of the questions that you've already looked at. So if we had y equals 4x cubed plus 6x squared, you differentiate to get dy by dx, and we get 12x squared plus 12x. So to go from here to here, that's your differentiation. We want to now find a way of going backwards. So if we have dy by dx, how do we find y? And that's called integration. Okay, so the first thing we we'll have to worry about now is the notation. So in differentiation, we'll have y and then dy by dx. So in notation, we have this symbol here, which means integrate. So if we're integrating 12x squared plus 12x, we integrate it with respect to x. So we put a dx here. Now that just means we're integrating x's. So we're integrating something that has x's in it. So we have dx here. If you're integrating something with q's in it, if we had 12q squared plus 12q, you would have a dq there because it's saying that we're differenti we're integrating something with q's in it. Okay. So the rule then for integration is if we're integrating x to the power of n with respect to x, we add 1 to the index and we divide 1 and divide by the new index. So we add 1 to the index and we divide by the new index and then we have this plus c which is called the constant of integration which I'll explain in just a wee second. So it's add 1 to the index Divide by the new index and plus c. And that's called the constant of integration. It's really important that you put in the plus c. There will be a mark in the exam for that. Um, <clears throat> so if you forget about it, you're not going to get that mark. And if you've got the rest of the integration wrong, if you have the plus c in, you can still get a mark for your plus c. So the reason we have the plus c then, so we're at this constant. If you think about y equals 4x plus 7, when we differentiate that, we just get 4. The 7 disappears. So if we have something like y equals 4x minus 60, if we differentiate that, we also get 4. The minus 60 disappears. So how are you supposed to know what number was there or if there was a number there? So there's no way of telling. So we put in plus C to say there could be a constant um, involved in this. Okay, And we'll get on to it much later on about how you could find out C. So we'll look at a couple of examples now. So our first one, we're integrating 7x minus 2. So now I'm going to do this out a very long way, just until you understand it. So that's really 7x to the power of 1 minus 2x to the power of naught. Okay, because remember, x to the power of naught would be 1 that we're integrating. So we, just write your 7 down, then we add 1 to the index, so our 1 becomes 2. And we divide by the new index, so we'll have a 2 in the bottom here. Add 1 to this index, we get 1. Divide by the new index, it's 1 plus c. And then tidy it up, we've got 7 over 2x squared minus 2x plus c. 
Now, you don't have to write out in an exam this line here, x to the power of 1 and 1. You can go straight to the, the minus 2x. So our second one, we're integrating x cubed minus 5x squared with respect to x. So we add 1 to the index to get 4 and then divide by the new index. We add 1 to the index to get 3 and then divide by the new index. And we put on our plus C because there could have been a number there. Next one. Six x minus six x squared minus two thirds x cubed with respect to x. So we add one, remember that's really a one there. Add one to the index, divide by the new index. Add one to the index to get three, divide by the new index. Add one to the index to get four, and then we're going to divide by 4. Now that's very messy but we'll tidy it up now in a wee second. And then your plus c. So we have 3x squared minus 2x cubed. You wouldn't leave it as 6 over 2. You would have to write that as 3. 6 over 3 you can write that as 2. And then we have 2 thirds divided by 4 and that's going to give us a sixth x to the power of 4 plus c. Okay, and then same as the differentiation, you can get slightly harder. Things to differentiate or to integrate. So we've got 6 over x squared and the same way as you did this with differentiation, we're going to write that as 6x to the power of minus 2 before we integrate it. And then let's just be careful with your minus signs. So we're on minus two, and we are adding one to it to get minus one, and then divide by the new index, plus your c. So we have minus six x to the minus one plus c, or you can write that as minus six over the x plus c, and bring the x back down again. Okay, and our last one then, 2 over 5x cubed plus 5x cubed, we're integrating that with respect to x. Again, tidy it up a bit. So the same way as you would have done with your differentiation, we're just bringing the x up. So it becomes 2 fifths x to the power minus 3, and this is still 5x cubed. Okay, so... It's going to be a bit messy until we tidy it up. So it's x to the power of minus 3. We're going to add 1 to that. So when we we'll add 1 to minus 3, we get minus 2. And then we're dividing the whole thing by minus 2. The cubed one, then we're adding to that to get 4. And then dividing by 4. And we remember our plus c. Now to tidy that up, 2 fifths divided by minus 2 will give you minus 1 fifth. Or we can bring this x down. And write it as minus 1 over 5x squared plus 5x to the power of 4 over 4 plus c.